Hey YouTube, this is G refrigerator. I had an issue with this refrigerator with the freezer part. The refrigerator part was working fine. The freezer part was not cooling down the way it should be. It was always set to zero Fahrenheit and it was never zero, it was about 20. So after messing with it, I realized that no matter what I do, this temperature here for the freezer was always showing minus nine. You open up the door, leave it unplugged for, for an hour, nothing changed, minus nine at all times. The refrigerator part was working fine, it was going up and down, no problem. So uh, let me show you real quick inside. So here is the temperature sensor that used to be here. I cut it out and moved it right here, as you can see. And I made a hole, so there's another, there's like a little uh, clip here. I took that clip out from this side and drilled a hole all the way through inside. So let me show you the board, the other part. So here is the board part. And here where the wires coming out from the hole, this is gonna be sealed. I'm just showing you because I just finished up testing it. So this wire goes right here. This is a blue wire, blue wire and that's where it was before. So to this conclusion, I came after messing around with a bunch of stuff. So there's three thermistors coming out of this uh, cabinet. One on evaporator coil, one on inside the refrigerator, and this one was inside the freezer. So after re reading uh, the value on, of the thermistor right uh, at the edge, you know, right at the actual uh, thermistor, I poked uh, holes inside this wire and checked the value, and it was showing per uh, perfectly fine from like from seven, from eight kilo ohm to about four kilo ohm, depending on the temperature. But on this side, while this still was attached to here, on this part, so this, this is where it goes. One wire goes on the one, two, three, and the third terminal. And a, and a red and white wire, that's the second part of it. So between those two wires, it was really about 16 and something and nothing was changing. So somehow this wire inside the cabinet failed and it was uh, not given the correct value to the control board. And uh, I also tried a different control board before and that didn't change anything. So this is what I had to do to make this uh, freezer work, I uh, disconnect everything, obviously. So this is not connected right now, this hard plug from the wall. But this is the basically a hard job on what you can do to make this particular refrigerator work. I'm not a appliance repairman, so uh, do it at your own risk. But uh, I'm just giving you an idea on what's going on and uh, how to fix this particular issue with uh, minus nine Fahrenheit at all times on the freezer on the freezer side, which does not work. So as I said, uh, once again, as I said, I'm gonna seal this up on this side, on that side, and uh, it should be good to go. Should be good enough for the uh, garage fridge. Thank you very much for watching. And if you like my videos, please subscribe and hit that thumbs up button to help me grow my channel. Thanks, bye. Okay, guys, bye-bye.